All right, welcome back to the Elmore Family Adventures. The girls have conned me into cooking again, but this time I have a story to go with it. This time we're gonna cook some meats. Look at this, we got brisket, chicken, some ribs, and we got some stuff we're gonna do with some boudin. But also, the story is behind this Harley seasoning. If you haven't heard of it, it's very delicious. But uh, me and Aubrey went on a to a concert, Alexander K concert in Houston, and we met two young ladies there. We were walking with them, standing in line with them at the concert. Anyway, we got to talking. Anyway, one of them is the granddaughter of the people who came up with the Harley seasoning. She was telling me about it, and I'm like, I'd never heard of it. So we decided we would try it and it is delicious. And if you haven't tried Harley's, you need to try it because it is very, very good. We're gonna put it on the brisket, the chicken, and the ribs today. So the seasons we have is the Texas style sweet rib rub, and we also have the Texas style barbecue. It's all purpose seasoning. We're gonna I'm gonna get this brisket going because it's gonna take a little bit longer on it to cook. And then uh, while the brisket's cooking, I'm gonna do something special with the boudin. And then when the brisket's almost done, we're gonna throw the ribs and chicken on. So anyway, we'll get back with you in just a second and I'll let you see how the ribs and stuff's looking. All right, so we're gonna start with the brisket. We got the brisket in the pan and we're gonna use Texas style barbecue and all purpose season. I like this stuff a lot. Look at that. I'm gonna season this thing up and then we're gonna get it cooking. We're gonna cook it for four hours in the oven. I know most people cook outside, but it's rainy and nasty outside. And I don't really wanna be outside, so we're gonna cook it in the oven and uh, give that a shot here we go all right so we got that brisket all coated up the top's really coated a lot I'm gonna flip it over got the bottom coated up pretty good I like cooking with the uh, fat side on top and it just kind of cooks down we'll see how this one goes I haven't cooked in the oven in a long time so but all I did was use Harley's and uh, Worcestershire sauce and we're gonna put it in the oven we're gonna cook it for Anywhere four to six hours, just depending on the meat temperature. All right, so for the boudin, what we're making is, I call it a boudin roll. So we're using DJ's boudin, and then we got a crescent roll laid out, all the way laid out, and then you put the boudin in there, and you cut it down, and then you start putting cheese in it. I use pepper jack cheese. You can use whatever you want to use, but I got pepper jack cheese. And then we're gonna roll this up. I'm gonna make two of these and then we're gonna stick those in the oven because you gotta have a snack while that brisket's cooking. So we'll see how this turns out. All right, so I got my two boudin and cheese rolls and I'm gonna top it off. I'm gonna, it's gonna bake. I'm gonna put some little Harleys on top. Just give it a little spice, a little spice. And then we're gonna throw that in the oven for anywhere from 12 to 15 minutes. The boudin's already cooked. Just gotta cook the roll and melt that cheese. Then we'll have a snack while we're waiting on our brisket. All right, so while our boudin is cooking and our brisket's cooking, we're gonna go ahead and marinate, or I guess rub, put a rub, and put some Worcestershire sauce. I'm gonna put the Harley's sweet rib rub on the ribs here. These are boneless pork ribs, and then I'm gonna put the Harley's uh, regular salt, regular uh, barbecue and all-purpose seasoning on the chicken. We're gonna we're gonna get that all seasoned up. Then we're gonna let it sit in the refrigerator, and then. Just let it sit there and just grab those spices in there. I'm telling you, if you don't know about Harley's, you need to try it. It's really good. And I sure will thank that young lady for turning me on to them because it is delicious. So here we go. We're going to get them all rubbed up, put them in the refrigerator. All right, we got that cheese, chicken, chicken, chicken season. The chicken is seasoned up. We got the ribs kind of got that rub on. And we're just going to let that marinate while the Brisket's cooking and our boudin's cooking. It should be almost done. Also, a little more about that, that trip. That's why I love our, our ventures because me and Aubrey went to that concert just going to watch Alexander K. We love listening to her play music and we, we just loved it. But talking to her and then she, this is their family started this business on their kitchen counter. I think she said it was her grandparents or her great grandparents. I can't, I can't really remember. But they started this on their kitchen counter. And now they are like worldwide. I mean, she was telling us that they ship stuff all the way to Florida, to Hawaii. Uh, I believe she said even like Universal Studios take some of their seasoning. I'm telling you, this seasoning is very good. Uh, around here, you can find it at HEB, but 
you can also get on their website uh, Harley seasoning and you can get a three pack they have a lemon pepper one there's all kinds of seasons you can get from them so I mean I really appreciated talking to her and that's why I like our adventures because we get to talk to so many different people we find out different stuff we get to try new stuff and this is uh, like a I don't know American family starting a business and it's it's it took off I mean it's like an American dream so it's awesome to me to, to, to find people like that and talk to people like that so we're gonna eat this food later on once it gets all done I'll show you some more stuff later I just like the little guy on there if you go to their website it also talks about how they uh how they uh their season has been in championships and one different thing so check check their website out check your seasoning out all right let's check on the boudin oh yeah look at that look at that that looks good to me let that cool off just a second then we'll cut into it see what it looks like put into it did you get the seven rolls from earlier? <laughs> no, I didn't get those. No, I didn't get those. I said the girls, as usual, made me cook. So. <laughs> All right, so I pulled the boot in, rolled out. We're gonna see what it looks like. Pan's still a little hot, but we're gonna cut into it. Looks like it might, oh, that's that cheese. It's spilling. That's that cheese. That's that cheese. That's that cheese, look at that. I'm looking at that mint. <laughs> like my mint? Ah, it's a yeah. mint Look, it's boudin oh, yeah. and cheese. That's good. It's a snack while the brisket's I was going to say that also looks good for breakfast. Yeah, it might be good breakfast. And we got Harley seasoning on top. And I haven't mentioned this, but we are not, uh, we, we don't get sponsored by Harley's, but be nice. Be nice. <laughs> we like Harley's. We wouldn't say no. We wouldn't say no. We love some Harley's. <laughs> Look. A little extra seasoning here and there. You know what? This would be good for a Super Bowl too. Oh. Super Bowl's coming up. Super uh, Bowl. If you're into that stuff, that's the skin of the boudin right boudin. there. That's, that's how you know it's boudin. That's how you know it's boudin. <laughs> I didn't take the skin off. So. We'll try this little bit right here though. You want to try it, Anna? Yeah. Whew. So Anna's going to give it a shot. Watch it. it's hot, hot. It just came over. And it's and got this. the cheese and the bread. What do you think? That's all I do. I cook for these girls. Mm. Good. It's good. I love boudin. <laughs> That's DJ's boudin. Mm. Harley seasoning on a croissant roll with pepper jack cheese in it. Very good. I love the croissant. Look. I love the taste, and the it's, flavor. It's simple too. Now when you cut it, yeah. It, Kind of messes up a little bit because I ain't let it cool enough. I ain't let it cool yet, but hey, it's good warm. <laughs> we want a snack, so mm -hmm. very good. I right. recommend. Highly recommend. So just me and Anna here. I'll be home later. I got the ribs marinating. I got the mm -hmm. with the rub on. I got the chicken marinating with the stuff on. The briskets are in the oven. Oh man, we having a full barbecue. Oh yeah, inside barbecue. Cooking. Inside because it's cold. It's cold and the weather's bad. <laughs> I don't like the rain. It was bad. It was bad. <laughs> All right, so brisket is looking pretty good. We're gonna put it back in without the foil on it for about another 45 minutes. And then we're gonna put the ribs and chicken in. Got some butter on top of chicken with that seasoning. Put it in 45 minutes and you'll see it. All right, we pulled the brisket out. It's sitting between 160 and 170 on the thermometer. We're gonna let it rest. Still got the ribs and the chicken cooking. They still got about 20, 30 more minutes. Then we'll be able to eat. All right, the ribs are out. These are the boneless ribs. They've all cooked up. Chicken's cooked the brisket ready to slice it up Woo, it's gonna be a good dinner tonight slicing that brisket up look at that looks pretty good all right I got my plate ready got the brisket I cut up the pork chop a little bit got some taters and some green beans and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little more of this Harley's 
This is a good barbecue style, all purpose seasoning. I'm gonna put it on my tater, because I'm telling you, it's, it's good not only on meat, but it's good on green beans, potatoes, a little bit more on the meat. And then we're gonna get into it. Potatoes. <laughs> now, of course, you gotta get that meat. Maybe that, do that, this is good. Mmm. Wow. That's good stuff. Okay. I'm telling you, Harley's is good. So the ribs has the uh, the Texas Wild Sweet Rub, but it's all purpose seasoning too. But it's really good on the ribs, and then the brisket has the barbecue, and the chicken does too. I didn't get any chicken yet, but look at that chicken. Yeah, that chicken looks so good. It looks good, don't it? And then I cut the brisket up. It's sitting that au jour, that, that meat juices, mm -hmm. sorb it up. Good stuff. We're gonna eat this. We're gonna eat this up, and we just want y'all to like, subscribe to the video. If you like us doing the cooking videos, leave us something in the comments, we'll cook some more. And we'll always be using Harley season. Sometimes <laughs> we use Tony, but Harley's is good. Uh, also like, subscribe, Elmore Family Adventures, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and get ready for some more adventures because we got a lot planned for this year. And we'll see y'all later. Woo. Bye.